We sheltered at the church because we felt like it was the safest building that we had. Our church was rated for a 130 mile an hour wind. We felt like we were safe here, but was no match for the storm that hit us. We had about 18 people there at the church with us. We had two offices that didn't have any windows, and I felt like those would be the safest. And while we were in there, just a short while later, we heard the winds pick up, and we could feel the building shaking, the shuddering. And sometime in there in that first 30 minutes, something large hit our church. It really was loud. I mean, a really, really loud boom that went on. And at that time, it blew out one of the front walls. And once the wind got in, it began to compromise this, these two 35-foot walls. The one was on the foyer side, one was on the sanctuary side with a hallway between them. It bent both of those walls and just took the ceiling purlins and bent them like an accordion. Just the, the raw strength of this storm was unbelievable. It wasn't too much longer before we really, things started to just, the wind started to howl. Um, we started to feel the pressure in our ears and we knew that something big was happening outside. Then water started to come in to the office and within just a few minutes, we were sitting in about three inches of water. The wind would gust and I could see the ceiling above me and move. It would, it would come up and I could see the sky. We knew that there was something wrong. When I went to open the door to our office, the door wouldn't open, it was jammed. And that's really when, uh, you know, I got my first little bit of fright. I just said, Lord, help me with this door. I pulled that door open, it just took my breath. I felt like my heart stopped for an instant. I was not prepared to see daylight when I came out of that office. The roof was missing, raw metal and iron was exposed, and these walls were just leaned over like 30%, like the whole building was going to rack and sandwich on us. I knew the platform would be safe because years ago, we had designed the platform to where we could put a baptistry on it if we wanted to. So I knew it had these solid column walls with concrete and had a, a place on top that would shield us from anything falling. And he said, we have to get out of here. And I was like, uh, okay. He said, I'm gonna take Libby first. And I was like, uh, okay. There's just a mountain of debris with falling ceiling and metal and stuff still falling and chairs blown all over. We were hearing that metal flopping and it was super loud because the wind was making a flap. That's one of the times my little girl asked me, she said, Dad, do you think we're gonna die here today? And I really felt the Lord in this moment because, you know, I remember the story in the Bible of the Apostle Paul when he was on the ship that was caught in the storm. And he said, an angel stood by me this night and told me that the ship will be lost, but not a man will lose his life. I simply looked at my baby girl and I said, uh, baby, even if the building falls, we're gonna walk out of here. He took me and he ran me under the stage I tried to go as far as back in, in like our little hole as I could. I'm just amazed. I'm truly, truly amazed um, that we had eight adults and a child in that small space. Through the whole thing, I was texting my older daughter Kaylee in Birmingham because I still had cell service, just honestly by the grace of God. She watched the whole thing on her computer and she kept texting me and saying, Mom, please write my phone number on you and Olivia's leg. That way, if anything happens, they can call me. We could tell as the noise level went down, the storm was going down, to finally we opened the hatch under the platform and we watched the last part of the storm and we felt like it was safe enough, we crawled out from under there. When we did finally come out of the space, John came out first and I handed him my phone and I said, here, take some video of this. I said, we'll never see this again.
The path of this storm left total destruction. For a month after the storm, we had services under a tent. Now we've moved into our old preschool building and we're having services in a room one-fourth the size of our old sanctuary. Oh my goodness, the daunting task of beginning the rebuilding of the main sanctuary building. And that is quite a task. Um, so we take things in small steps and our, our big goal, which seems attainable right now, is just to get our temporary facility open to be able to reopen our daycare and begin providing childcare for this area again.